because everything that he said, denouncing me and then confirming me and then talking about, oh, blah, 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 that all happened a day before the report about the nine-year-old boy was released. Mm. And before people started confirming that the video that was being shopped around was Bieber and Diddy. See, that's the problem with running your mouth, Vlad. That's the problem. You, you didn't realize on Monday that every word that you said was gonna be invalidated on Tuesday. He brought you on to speak on Diddy, and it seemed that it's if your focus turned to Jay Z, uh, his wife. That's always been my focus. Yes. What? <laughs> They're one and the same. Mm. Tell me something. When you have a peanut butter jelly sandwich, if it's just peanut butter, it's just peanut butter. If it's just jelly, it's jelly. When you put it together, it become a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And, and the taste is undeniable. Mm -hmm. You're saying Diddy and Jay-Z is peanut butter and jelly? Peanut time? butter and jelly. <laughs> mm. Let's deal with the sandwich. We asked you this last time, and Pierce Morgan said it. They're not here to defend themselves. Do you think they will, the Carters will speak about any of this at all? Do you just feel that they'll make any statement about Beyonce what's going on? Beyonce is losing hundreds of thousands, millions of followers every day, and she still hasn't said anything. Just pretending like life is great in Paris. Is it her place to say so? I mean, probably not, considering she's going to be indicted for anything she would say. These are criminals. Diddy is a drug dealer, and so is Jay-Z. The proof is there. How many up people does he have to be around before people see him for who he is? It seems like these artists are trying to run away from their past. Diddy changed his name multiple times to say, mm -hmm. that's not me. I'm trying to move beyond Diddy. I'm love yeah. now. Yeah. It seems like Jay-Z would try to God's run away from his eye, past. Calling that nigga love and anything that he did love. Brother love. What kind of love? Baby oil love. Baby love. Baby love. Explicit love. Hey. They never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Oh man, that's oh, it, it's different now. These lyrics are all hitting different right now. They're, they're all the that people talking about fathers, all kinds of stuff. So let's just start with Pierce Morgan because mm -hmm. there's a headline that went out that was very powerful that people are running with, where it just says Jay Z is the real monster. Now, before you speak mm -hmm. on it, to even get to Pierce Morgan, can you explain how that took place and why even take that interview uh, to go forward? Well, <coughs> excuse me. Bless us. I can't say that I sought it out because I didn't. Truth is, is we didn't see it coming. But I have to credit Odell. Got an Odizi. My love. I, I have to credit him. Because since we've combined and joined forces and become a hell of an investigative journalism team. See, I'm the content, I'm the passion, I'm the voice. I'm also the brain, but I do too much by myself. That's the brain. That's the administrator. That's the bloodhound. Um, and he... You know, there were so many people that hacked in and so many of my accounts, people didn't even know how to get in touch with me anymore. And Odell created that lane. And um, they reached out to him. Pierce Morgan's producers called him directly. And uh, 
We talked about it briefly and I said, we have to do it. We have to. Because the one thing I know about Pierce Morgan is, is he is smart prey. And not only is he smart prey, he is a great conductor of information. He also vets things viciously. And I want to thank you for that. Because if my word is good enough to make it through Pierce Morgan's a firewall of please don't sue me. <laughs> then I guess he just vetted me for every ounce of real life content on this blue couch. Mm. We thank you for that. Do you feel that Pierce Morgan allowed you to get, cause you only have so many minutes. I know you don't know exactly yeah. how the show is going to be structured. Yeah. Did you get what you want to say out? And did, was there more for you to say? Of course there's more I'll to say. I'll never have enough to say. Right. There will never be enough screen time for me to say. But what I will say is, I'm grateful for the questions he asked. I'm grateful for the time he gave me to answer. And I pray that I was able to hit everything that needed to be hit for the public. How did you feel about um, Vlad going after you? I loved it. I saw the lineup immediately. Right. Especially when I saw the lawyer, Ariel kid that came after what Pierce did was brilliant journalism right. he created a beef without there being one and he created multiple episodes for confrontation <laughs> after it's brilliant it is uh uh Vlad has said um you're a conspiracy theorist yeah he has never wanted you on a show he has ever never out to you you know what hold up Drum roll. Where do I find that receipt? Oh, 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 we got, is there? On the email. Let me check. There's receipts? No, I, it's on your YouTube, right? Yeah. Oh, So yeah. let me go over here to my baby's channel, Set in the West. Shout out to Shout Set, out Set in the West. Shout out to Set in the West, uh, uh, running the numbers up. Go there for all the exclusive, all the exclusive. You yeah. know, it's so funny. I, I love bigging his channel up. Yeah. I love it. I do. I love it. I love having a man that not only do I agree with his content, but it's great. And I can be like, ooh, my man over there doing, get yeah. over there. I love to see something from scratch turning turning up, you know, going from right? the, I mean, it was already something, but to just see it rise to the heart. No diddy. Um, I love to see that. Yeah, no, he's he's as much of an information bloodhound as I am. Is Is it in... After. Why is it say stash? What? That's not you. Then what's up? Oh no, somebody else covered it. Got it. The channel. Uh, I forgot I had to resubscribe again. I have so oh, many Oh, Jay, channels. come on, man. Jay, you gotta, you gotta be deleted. subscribed to send away. <laughs> I know. I didn't realize I didn't subscribe on this phone. No, because like they get deleted and I keep moving and I forget. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Is is it on the community feed, baby? Yeah. It's, it's a video. video. Yeah. Oh. What is the video of? If you Hold on, know. let's see, oh, let's see, let's see. Let oh, DJ Vlad, you're wrong. Oh shoot. Is that it? Oh shoot. I, I don't know why more people aren't looking at this, but why isn't it playing? Is there a blue? Oh, the Bluetooth. That's what it is. Hold on. You know, I have so many phones and I never know what's connected to what and who and why. Those were going to. Okay, here we go. Yes. All righty. See, there's a receipt. And this is what I love when people say, she never has any receipts. Yeah. She don't have any receipts. Everyone knew she was the devil. Everyone wanted to go to these white parties. Uh, when they were happy, if I got an invite, I would go. But there's a party within a party. This has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching for decades. It must stop. Hmm. Jaguar right is known to be a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, no, go wrong. This nigga <laughs> Vlad. A Vlad. Vlad TV, a.k.a. Uh, what's your name, bro? Vlad, Vladimir. Um, Boosty. <laughs> it's, it's Vladimir. Let me 
<laughs> let me get this straight because I'm not person Ukrainian. Uh, Vladimir Lyubovny. <laughs> That's his <laughs> name. <laughs> I'm going to come at you as a tech guy, as a... Because he is a tech guy. That's his background. I met Before you vlogging. I carpet at uh, the homie YG. Shout out to YG. I'm from Compton, but YG's from Bompton. Um, from Bompton. I met you at his red carpet. Mm -hmm. And you were surprised to know... You were surprised that I knew who you were. I know you a tech guy. You come from the tech background. I got a tech background. So, you know, we people know each other. Yeah, Techie. and um, I met you, and you know, you were like, "Oh shit, yeah," you know. I say, hey, "What's up, lad?" You know, it is what it is. Like tacky, lad, bro. You're a vulture. Yeah, he is. You, you, you're not hip hop you're, at you're all. About as DJ as DJ Tanner from Cool House. You about as DJ as DJ Academics. He's a dick jockey. He's not a journalist at all. He's a chronolist. Vlad, you know you're wrong. Honey, you should talk. For real, because he said he would never sit with us. No, 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 I know. Never. He said he would never sit with me. He would never have me on his show. He never wanted to talk to me. He never would. But I got receipts. Vlad, <laughs> why did you reach out to Jag back in June? Asking for Jack to be on the show. Why you do that, Blair? Blair, <laughs> <laughs> why are you playing it on face? Why you lying? Why are you lying on this podcast? And Vlad, and your fat ass wife. We'll stop there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Let's be very clear. This is the email that DJ Vlad sent me. His producer sent me asking me to appear on his podcast on YouTube just after the Cassie video was released on my birthday. I saw it. I never responded. Odell responded. Weeks and weeks later. But then again, Diddy was already in trouble, so you really didn't need to talk to me because you couldn't do much, much disinformation with me? I guess that's why your friend from the Star Report, or should I say the Comet Report, because he crashed out just like a comet. <laughs> I guess that's why he was so upset when I started asking him relevant questions about why he's propping up a liar. At this point in time, Vlad, I think it's only fair to say that Carol Johnson, your assistant, Unless you're saying you didn't know, she sent this on your behalf. You, you, you did want me on your show. I mean, which makes sense. Uh, it, for the kind of content he chased. Yeah. It, it makes He's sense. always <laughs> looking to put a case on somebody to yeah. move him out of the way. With that being said, was it, was it stated that you weren't going to rebuttal Vlad, Vlad at that time? Did they let you know? I didn't even know Vlad was going to be on. Oh. Like I said, it was brilliant. Wow. Because everything that he said, denouncing me and then confirming me and then talking about, oh, da, 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 that all happened a day before the report about the nine-year-old boy was released. Mm -hmm. And before people started confirming that the video that was being shopped around was Bieber and Diddy. See, that's the problem with running your mouth, Vlad. That's the problem. You, you didn't realize on Monday that every word that you said was going to be invalidated on Tuesday. See, that's what happens when you're a liar. See, I didn't have to worry about what I said on Monday. Because I knew what I said on Monday was going to hold up on Wednesday. The truth needs no support, just time and room. Why do you think Vlad has been allowed to take root in our culture and be able to do as many things as he's been able to do? I believe, in my opinion, 
that he is an information and disinformation agent. I think the reason why it's hard for anyone to attach him to any American agency is because he isn't a part of any American agency. I have reason to believe that he is Mossad, Israeli intelligence, background. I mean, you were born in that region, or at least your people come from that region. Mm. You marry a black woman, you know, get you a little black sympathy, get into the culture a little bit, act like you want to make black people famous and you care about this and that. I remember when you started, Vlad. You want to know what was funny? A friend of mine that worked for Homeland Security told me to never sit with you because this isn't the first time you reached out to me, Vlad. You reached out to me in 2008 after me and Mr. Carter had a very, very, very unfortunate incident. Your life is about as, um, and, and your background, it's, it, it, it's about as easily tracked as Barack Obama's. That's pretty tracked. Yeah. Like there, there's something very wrong with you. And not only that, let's look at the list of SA predators you're involved with in business currently. Mm. You're being um, championed as a friend by the Comet Report, who was thrown off of radio for threatening to assault. S.A., a four-year-old child. His partner, I know for a fact, committed statutory S.A. And I feel bad because I talked that girl out of filing her report like she wanted to with the police. Because you told me you were, she, was, she was a liar, Buck. You, you told me all of that. Like the both of y'all got some weird history. And then, Vlad, you do a podcast with a Hollywood plant who was convicted of child grooming and essay and all of that. And his name is Aries Spears. You get the pervert, pervert, pervert. You do birds of a feather flock together. And then D.L. Hughley, you, you have him as a running guy on your show. And everybody knows what Monique told us all about how he let his friend essay his daughter and refused to believe his daughter until the money ran out and then all of a sudden you found something wrong with it. Like everyone in your orbit, Vlad, is a weirdo. And you're white. You, you, you don't even look remotely hip hop. Nigga, you look like you should have like done the reprisal for Fiddler on the Roof. You act like that running around from 10 rooftop to 10 rooftop playing your little weirdo music. You know, that was based, um, that whole movie, the Fiddler on the Roof, that came out of Eastern Europe right on the edge of Russia, where your people are from, where Mossad is very involved. Do you think they asked Vlad before he came on, what is his thoughts on you before they put him on? I'm sure they checked. So. But the thing is, is Makes for good this, TV. The only, it, it's great TV. I, like I said, I thought it was brilliant. But the thing is, is the only way that he could have been cloaked from a vetting team as Fierce as Pierce Morgan's as if he was being covered by a government. So what are your thoughts on Ariel then? Uh, she comes on last as a lawyer for one of the Diddy accusers. She actually backs your, she actually- uh, Yeah, she, she corroborated the fact that she saw the very videotapes that I said were about to be sold right here on this couch just a couple months ago. Why is everyone so late? Don't want to believe? 
I sat right here and told y'all there was activity on the dark net. Videos were being distributed and were going to be sold for profit because the diddler needs the money. Did I not say that? Okay. Right here. Yeah. And now we got a lawyer who has seen it. But I ain't got no receipts. Okay. You, you know what my receipt is? Reality and time. Shout out to Reality Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.